Hello guys, welcome to programming screencast. In this programming screencast, we would be seeing about a data structure that Python offers you. Please don't get terrified by the term data structure. It is nothing, it's just the way by which you can arrange your data. That is what you call as data structure in simple terms. So Python offers a lot of data structures. We had seen some of them in the previous weeks. We had seen lists. You have been extensively using lists and you will be also using in future and dictionaries we had seen. You had uh, used dictionaries in rock paper scissor game I guess. So we will see yet another data structure called the tuples. So the data structure name is tuple maybe I guess. Now you can see it, the font size I have increased. The data structure name is tuple. We call it as a tuple. So what is basically a tuple? We'll see, right? So initially we'll start with creating a tuple. How can we create a tuple? So let me say, I want to store the ice cream flavors, which I like, let us say ice cream flavors. Let me see, ice cream flavors equal to, it's a name of my tuple, that's a variable name, so I will say, to create a tuple, what you need to use is the normal parenthesis, the normal brackets, open and close bracket. So within this, you need to give the items of the tuple. One, maybe I can say vanilla, then I can say chocolate, then Butterscotch, butterscotch, then strawberry, maybe I will say strawberry and so on. You can give any number of flavors. So alright, so let me press enter. Alright, my tuple got created. Now, so now if I say ice cream flavors, see. I got this tuple, vanilla, chocolate, butterscotch, strawberry, whatever I had added. So you can use this way or you can use print as how you had been using print, ice cream flavors. I think I was just pressing the tab key because of which it got auto filled. And please note that I'm using the console and I'm explaining using the console. So if you feel that the screen doesn't appear familiar, not just that I had maximized the console, that's it. I'll press enter see I got it as a tuple okay so what if I want to print it one by one how can I do that simple just like how you use a loop in, in lists or dictionaries something like that same like that you can use loop okay let us see how we can print the elements one by one simple just like how you have uh, some uh, you have used loops in lists or dictionaries the previous data structures whatever you had seen you can use a loop to print each element individually as you wish so let me use a for loop for i'll say flavors flavor in ice cream flavors that is my variable name so let me start my loop i'll say print so it's print i have to say flavor so i had used an intuitive name you can use any variable name here for i j anything you can use given that this is a tuple of ice cream flavors i am using a variable name flavor we got it one by one vanilla chocolate butterscotch strawberry all right so we had uh, printed the elements in the tuple and now in case if you want to access the individual elements how would you do that is i just want to print chocolate let us say how would you do let us see chocolate is the second element in my list so just like in my tuple so let just like how i did in my list i'll use the index indexing mechanism so let me say print what is this tuple name ice cream flavors of the index i have to give this is my second thing so let me give two let us see what happens butterscotch see the third one gets printed so uh, if I say 2, the third one in the list got printed. 
so what does that mean so the indexing mechanism that python uses is different so that is uh, it starts counting differently it starts counting from zero just as how it did in lists you should start counting from zero this is index zero vanilla is at index zero chocolate is at index one butterscotch is at index two strawberry is at index three this is how it counts we start counting from one and but the computer start counting from zero so if we want the second item we should give index one so that then we can get the second item as per our view as per our perspective it is the second item but for computer it is the first item that is because it start counting from zero so let us print it print ice cream flavors of one so that is the second item actually if i print see i got chocolate which is the second one actually in the list all right so this is how you access an item simple nothing but you give the name of the tuple ice cream flavors you use this square brackets and give the index at which your desired item is present say let me say three strawberry got printed let me say i'll just let it be a typo i'll say 30 see tuple index out of range it throws an error in case if such an item that is the index number 30 i had instead of printing 3 let in case i printed that i typed as 30 that's a typo error in, given that there is no index 30 in the list it says index out of range that is there is a range of index value for this tuple that is 0 1 2 3 these are the allowed values this 30 is out of this range is what the error means so it throws an error right so let us see we had uh, let us just sum, uh, summarize very quickly we had created a tuple ice cream flavors and we had accessed the individual elements to create a tuple what you did you just used the open parenthesis and you just inserted the items and you had accessed the elements so in case I want to change something so for example I don't want to have butterscotch instead I would like to add blackcurrant flavor so I want to modify the element or I want to add something newly well, how could I do that let me see so let me say tuple name is ice cream flavors just as how you did in lists the update functionality let us try the same way because we are accessing the elements in a similar way that as the top list using indexes so let us try updating as well the same fashion as like that in list so let us see ice cream flavors of it was in index 2 right butterscotch so let me remove that and i want to make it as black current black current black current I made it I don't need an underscore here it's a string so basically okay black current so let me press enter see it's throwing an error tuple object does not support item assignment it's telling something okay let me try adding it as a new item so it was having 0 1 2 3 right so I want to add it at index 4 I'll say index 4 is black current here I'm trying to add it initially I tried modifying it was not allowing me for so whatsoever reasons let me try adding it the same error is being thrown again all right probably I have to delete that uh, the initial the initial value and again reassign the value probably that is how tuples work let me experiment let me say delete the same keyword that we used in dictionaries delete del ice cream flavors of two let me say tuple object doesn't support item deletion oh even this doesn't work so let me ask for help delete question mark that will give me a help delete not found what happened oh my god delete ice cream flavors let me check let me ask for help okay tuple empty the tuple so if i ask for a question it says it will empty the tuple so it says i cannot delete an individual item i cannot modify an item i cannot add an item i cannot delete an individual item all that i can do is i can delete the tuple completely i can delete the entire tuple so basically tuples are sort of data structure which is fixed once you fix something it remains as that as that as like that forever that is what they technically call as immutable so those who have some knowledge of biology you would have heard of a term called mutation that is nothing but some changes in your genes that, that is what they call as mutation so the same terminology they have been using here as well we call tuples are immutable because 
you cannot make changes as like you had made in lists or dictionaries in if you use a tuples so tuples once you fix something it is fixed forever now if i say delete ice cream flavors the entire tuple would get deleted so let me check if i now call ice cream flavors i now call it says name ice cream flavors is not defined so if, what, what are the options that is supported is you can create a tuple you can access the elements of a tuple and you can delete it as a whole you cannot add anything modify anything delete a single item nothing of that sort can be done so it is sort of a fixed data structure all right it seems very restrictive right so is there any other option that is there any other thing that can be done in a tuple so let me create a toy tuple for example create a toy tuple let me just use some numbers 1 2 3 4 given that i had deleted that ice cream flavors wala tuple so i am just creating another tuple for demonstrating what else can be done so just like the length functionality of list that can be used i'll demonstrate length of toy we'll say 4 so the length functionality can be used in case i want to see the count i can use the count functionality as well as if you want to retrieve the specific index where the element position is where the particular element is pre present you can uh, see that toy dot count i want to count the number of times the number 2 occurs it occurs one time so it says 2 the toy of count is 1 so let me change the tuple once for you making it as 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 so i had made a new tuple so basically see initially i had toy is equal to 1 2 3 4 and here i have this you can ask me you said tuples are immutable that is you cannot change them but how can you change this so what happens is that thing what i had created already this gets destroyed and something new gets created that's what happens so you if you try changing or if you try modifying in this way the old one gets destroyed so whatever you once say that would remain fixed you cannot change it all right so let me show that for you length of toy initially it was 4 now if i say it says 9 so the earlier copy was completely destroyed so now i can show you the functionality count toy dot count let me say i want to see how many number of times the number 2 occurs it occurs two times number 4 occurs two times number 5 once so count is the function that says how many number of times this particular item is occurring in the tuple so in a tuple you can give numbers and initially in the ice cream flavors example we gave strings you can give it anything even a floating point value you can give anything we'll see some applications where uh, the different type of values are given in tuples so count is one functionality and the other functionality you can have is index So let me say toy dot index of five. Let me say five is present at index eight. And if you say say for example two, it is present at index one. It says, but see two was present at two places. So the index functionality returns the very first index from the left where the particular item is present. That is what this index functionality does. So these are some functionalities that you can use in list the length. count index that can be used in tuples also but something that you can do in list which cannot do in tuple is you are modifying an element adding a new element or deleting a particular element those things are not allowed so tuples is sort of once you define it's fixed so such a restrictive data structure where can it be used i had posed the question and probably you would have thought the same i guess so why do they even create this is it even useful of course yes it's used in many in cases one such example i'll say say for example you are dealing with rainbow rainbow is a tuple you can say the colors in rainbow why why let the next is with gr right so indigo indigo blue green yellow orange red so once you have defined this as a rainbow no one can further add or delete or do anything about this so this is this is you want a rainbow consist of these seven colors it's fixed so that uh, you you don't want anyone to make any changes in such scenario you can make use of tuples 
and one scenario where this would be useful this rainbow even is a toy example you can consider as uh, i just showed it to illustrate something that it is fixed in the nature and you, do, you cannot change no one can change this for such scenario you can use tuples so one thing where in computer science they use tuples is in you can say in image processing so in images uh, the uh, each uh, in the individual unit of an image is called a pixel this is basically like a human body uh, contains cells cell is the basic unit of human body something like that the basic unit of an image is called a pixel so each pixel if you had studied as you would have studied in your school physics each color can be represented in terms of the three basic colors namely red green and blue every color any color can be represented in terms of this that is by proportions of red green and blue by taking 10 percent red 40 percent blue and the rest green something like that by some proportions of red green and blue you can denote mm, any color so every pixel will have a color in an image so in case uh, if that is an image of a grass uh, some, or some natural uh, grassland so the top portion will be the sky it will have the blue value which will be dominant and the bottom portion will be the grass which will have the green value dominant in case you have sand there will be yellow which will be represented in terms of some proportions of red green and blue so as, as you could see every pixel has a variation in colors so each color can be represented in proportions of red green and blue so basically a pixel probably would be defined something like this pixel one there may be millions of pixels in an image depends on your camera resolutions you would have seen that 5 mp camera 8 mp camera 13 mp camera you you heard these days right so there may be different different pixels it depends on your camera resolution as there are number of pixels increases the clarity of the image will also increase so pixel one contains some color some says yellow color so it may be something like 0.7 comma sorry it's 0 0.7 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 0.2 something like that so some proportion of red green and blue rgb is the order in which they will represent the pixels so in that case they internally represent each pixel in terms of tuples so you don't want to change this that is this should be the proportion in this image you you don't want to change it so that that time they will say the, the, this this is the a particular pixel uh, configuration that is this is the color that is associated with this pixel so in such applications in computer science this tuples come very handy all right so you can think of many such applications where once you fix something you don't want to change it in such a scenario if you encounter some such scenario you can consider using this data structures tuples all right guys thanks for watching the programming screencast have a nice day